Sasanian Iberia Georgian, Sassanyori Kartli Sassanyori Kartli, known in Middle Persian sources as Warozan, Waruzan, Warukan refers to the period the Kingdom of Iberia Kartli, Eastern Georgia was under the suzerainty of the Sasanian Empire. The period includes when it was ruled by Marsbans governors appointed by the Sasanid Iranian king, and later through the Principality of Iberia. History The Georgian kingdoms were contested between the Sassanids and the neighboring rivaling Roman Byzantine Empire ever since the 3rd century. Over the span of the next hundreds of years, both the Byzantines and the Sassanids managed to establish hegemony over these regions. At the few remaining times, the Georgian kings managed to retain their autonomy. Sasanian governance was established for the first time early on in the Sasanian era, during the reign of King Shapur I in 284, the Sasanians secured the Iberian throne for an Iranian prince from the House of Murin, subsequently known by his dynastic name Mirian III. Mirian III became thus the first head of this branch of the Miranid family in the Kingdom of Iberia, known as the Chosroid dynasty otherwise known as the Iberian Miranids, or Miranids of Iberia, whose members would rule Iberia into the 6th century. In 363, Sasanian suzerainty was restored by King Shapur II r. 309 when he invaded Iberia and installed Aspakyurs II as his vassal on the Iberian throne. The continuing rivalry between Byzantium and Sasanian Persia for supremacy in the Caucasus, and the unsuccessful insurrection 523 of the Georgians under Gurgan had severe consequences for the country. Thereafter, the king of Iberia had only nominal power, while the country was effectively ruled by the Persians. By the time of Vezin Buzmer's tenure as Marsban of Iberia, the hagiographies of the period implied that the «kings» in Tbilisi had only the status of Mamasaklisi, which means «head of the royal house». When Bakir III died in 580, the Sassanid government of Persia under Hormuzd IV 578 seized on the opportunity to abolish the Iberian monarchy. Iberia became a Persian province, administrated through its direct rule by appointed Marsbans, which in fact was, as Professor Donald Rayfield states, a de jure continuation of de facto abolition of Iberian kingship since the 520s. The Iberian nobles acquiesced to this change without resistance, while the heirs of the royal house withdrew to their highland fortresses, the main Chosroid line in Kakheti, and the younger Guaramid branch in Klarjeti and Javakheti. However, the direct Persian control brought about heavy taxation and an energetic promotion of Zoroastrianism in a largely Christian country. Therefore, when the Eastern Roman Emperor Maurice embarked upon a military campaign against Persia in 582, the Iberian nobles requested that he help restore the monarchy. Maurice did respond, and, in 588, sent his protégé, Guram I of the Guaramids, as a new ruler to Iberia. However, Guram was not crowned as king, but recognized as a presiding prince and bestowed with the Eastern Roman title of Kurapalats. The Byzantine Sassanid Treaty of 591 confirmed this new rearrangement, but left Iberia divided into Roman and Sassanid dominated parts at the town of Tbilisi. Mts Keta came to be under Byzantine control. Guram's successor, the second presiding prince Stephen I, Stephanos I reoriented his politics towards Persia in a quest to reunite a divided Iberia, a goal he seems to have accomplished, but this cost him his life when the Byzantine emperor Heraclius attacked Tbilisi in 626, during the byzantine sasanian War of 602–628, marking the definite Byzantine predominance in most of Georgia by 627–628 at the expense of the Sassanids until the Muslim Conquest of Persia. Topic: <inaudible> Sasanian governors of Iberia. Piran Gushnasp, Arvin Gushnasp, Vezin Buzmer. Topic: <inaudible> See also. Roman Georgia. Muslim conquest of Persia Principality of Iberia Arab rule in Georgia <inaudible>